Hi, well, this is starting to look like the coronavirus from the inside out because that's really what's going on. All of us are going through this together and all of us are dreaming about it, whether you remember your dreams or you don't. And once you start analyzing them, you can see this mirror effect that's happening about how we choose images that come into the dreams. Okay. This morning's dreamer said, very simple, he won $250 million in an online lottery. So here's what I want to talk about, and it reminds me of when uh, sometimes I talk about sexual dreams and that how sometimes it's just because you're horny. I know I'm getting off topic here, but don't worry, I promise I'll go back. Um, because sometimes we forget what it feels like to feel good. And so, especially during times like this, when you're feeling very down, um, you need something to pick you up. And your unconscious, your healthy unconscious helps you do that. And especially if you're feeling all the way down here, as it turned out, this dreamer is having uh, so, so many issues about the job and not being able to be there and losing money every day. So he's feeling all the way down there. And what does his unconscious do? It creates a balance, actually, by uh, Jung would have called it compensating. But I want to talk about Alfred Adler in a minute. The dream is taking a dreamer who's feeling all the way down there and lifting him all the way up. $250 million win. And so you create a balance that way. And that's how we cope. It, our dreams are helping us cope. As a matter of fact, you probably know that expression, take that feeling and run with it. Well, that's the purpose of a dream like this. And Alfred Adler would have said that the dream gives rise to an emotion that helps move you forward towards the goal. So he was pushing you forward. And that's what this is supposed to do. And actually it worked because the dreamer said to me, of course, he woke up feeling good. He felt better. And so he wants to take that feeling and run with it. That's what you want to do with this time. Again, like I say, all of us are going through this. We're going through it together. Each of us is dealing with it differently. Each of us is using metaphors that are very personal that you actually can't look up in one of those books because you'd have to buy my book to find out the interview questions that you might ask yourself to help you uncover why you had that dream last night. But we are all um, quarantined and I'm right here. So if you have a question, don't be shy to ask. And you can even film me a dream and post it to me. Have a great day.